So there's always a lot of discussion between the difference in cycling ability in Europe and America. So I wanted to do a quick comparison. So here's Legion's video, um, and you can see very, very wide race, not very many people, maybe 60 maximum. And you can see, like, obviously the, the speed is the speed, like, you know, it's, it's going to be similarish between U U Europe and America. Like, that's not, it's not necessarily if fitness is the biggest thing. I just say it's, it, it is all partly, like, there's more people who race probably um, at a super high level in Belgium, let's say. Um, we'll use Belgium as an example, but this probably goes, is also true for Italy and Spain and France. Um, but you can see here, like, you know, it's very, very r wide roads, um, not very much technical ability. Some American crits are narrow and some do require you to be able to corner, but most of them don't. Um, you can see a bit of argy bargy. I think he's a big lad. Um, like, you know, I think in Europe that's slightly different. It's more just, you know, more race for position when you need it. But here, like, the position is easy to get because you know, the roads are very wide. Um, I wouldn't say that the team strength, you wouldn't get as much um, in Belgium as, as you would in America. Like, you don't get massive teams in Camises. It's more individual based. Um, obviously, there is a team element, but it often is. And I'd say, yeah, the biggest thing talking to people are like um, racing Belgium and stuff is, is just the, the number of people. Um, you know, sometimes you get fields of like 200 people, which is obviously very different to a race like this because getting to the front, like here, like, I mean, obviously you need power to get to the front, but you don't need any technical, but like you don't need to you know, know how to go through a crowd like a bunch um, because it's, it's just so wide. Um, we're later going to get into some races from Belgium, some camises, and you're going to see the difference. And it's pretty obvious what the difference is. Um, and I think, you know, it's not to throw shade at Americans. I think it's just, you know, demonstrating the difference. And like, here's another... Um, this is from Trainer Road. This is a USA crit, so like the highest level. I think this potentially isn't the. Oh no, no, no this is the main crit legion of that. So I'm pretty sure this is the main one. And um, like, just look how wide it is. Like, this is like a motorway in Europe. Like, you, you don't get roads this wide that you just you race on ever. Um, like the field is big to be fair, like ish, like it's 80 people. Um, but it's just so wide, so it makes it's moving up very, very easy. Um. It, it just means that, you know, there's less, um, like, look at the picture on the right, like, everyone's so bunched up, it's not as narrow, um, people, like, leaving the inso inside open, like, obviously numbers here, like, you're seeing 1100 watts, so there's no dummy for sure, but it's just not the, um, not necessarily the same uh, skills are needed, um, which is, I think, why American cyclists often find it difficult coming over to Europe. If you read Phil Gaimon's books about it, he, he you know, he says he, he would his normalized power would be, like, maybe 40 or 50 watts higher to get around a race in Belgium compared to, like, Van Baal or someone who was, you know, born and raised in, on those type of races just because they don't have the skills, the cornering. Like, here, look, like, I mean, let's be honest, you can pretty much pedal around that corner. Um, there's no technical aspects. I mean, people in my last video when I was talking about Legion, were like, four corner crits are really hard. It's like... Well, they could be fitness-wise, yeah, for sure, but if you took the same course and put them in a really technical race, like, it's really hard, because if you're not first first couple through the wheel, then the deceleration is significantly higher. A four-corner crit, I mean, you can just pedal around the corner, obviously, it's going to be a bit of slowing down, but but not much. Like, you look at how much it's bunched out, like, it's just such a different skill set required. Um, and, you know, in some ways, it's probably better, like, to, you probably get better athletes coming from America in some sense, because you can't wing it, you can't be, like, you know, you can, you have to just be purely strong, uh, well, I'd say, like, you could, you could win races in Belgium, for sure, um, and it, and Europe, obviously, you have to be strong, but you, you can hide in a bunch, if you can corner well, you might not necessarily be the fittest, while in America, I feel like it is pure, pure fitness, and less, you know, of the other types of bike racing, which obviously at a higher level are very important, but potentially at a lower level, if you're getting into the sport, then, you know, like the Axiom team, they're very successful at developing talent and they have a dual program, America and Europe. And I guess America is where they just get to show like, look, we've got this physical specimen. He's an absolute monster on the bike and they can just ride, you know, and there's less focus on the, on the, on, you know, the, the technical aspects of racing, uh, the cornering, positioning, etc uh, etc et um, that's required so here's a Belgian Camis in 2016 some road footage from some lad on YouTube you can just see that like how much narrower the roads are how many more people there are um, like to move up here is obviously significantly harder because you don't just have a whole motorway to move up on um, so you've got to be a lot more 
a lot better at conserving energy. Um, and it's also like obviously this bit here is not super technical, um, but in general there are a lot more curves, a lot more 90 degree corners. Um, but look how like far out this field is stretched. Like this is like if you were coming from America, like this would be a lot harder. But I'm gonna show American lad who came to Belgium, Matt Zimmer. I'm a big fan. But look them popping up on the pavement. Uh, I think it's probably a crosswind section. People are that desperate to get on the pavement. Um, so again, like that's pretty hard. That guy's moving up. The wind looks like a strong lad. But like Matt Zimmer's video is coming up in a minute, and like he is he's properly strong, and he, he does well in Belgium. So it's not like you know you can't, you're American. You're just, you're just gonna run the race in Belgium. It's not that. It's just that it's definitely a different skill set that I don't think. Um, get as much but if you look at the national team they do because they get there they get them there at like 15 16 years old and they say right you're going to live in belgium for two months you're going to race there and then they get into the flow and then it's like you know they, they're good like Quinn Simmons as an example of that you know he's been racing there for a long time it's the same with the gb riders like british racing is not it's not that technical really a lot of the time but the crits are sometimes um, generally um but again like most of the guys who are successful world tour riders will have raced in belgium or europe from a very young age um, because you know that is how you need to succeed um, to, to succeed in world tour i mean the races there are some races in europe uh, in america and some races in britain but let's be honest they're almost all in europe um, but look at this corner like the hairpin effect here like it's so different so here's matt Zimmer, zimmer's video strong lad uh, go check out his channel he's, he's a good lad to be fair um he posts some, some top core content which i do enjoy um, but again, it's just now uh, it's more of a festival feel as well. I'd say the bike racing there, um, definitely compared to what I've seen in US and UK. Like that, there's more spectators. It's more of a known sport, um, which obviously helps in hosting the races because they just go around the towns, which obviously is pretty good. But yeah, like the numbers and like you know across the world, like they're, they're not that different. Like you know, like uh, there's there's a certain distribution of the population who are going to be good at cycling. And those who take it seriously like they're all going to get to a similar level like it's not like you know you're going to go to europe and suddenly like everyone's going to be like a billion times fitter like obviously belgium's renowned for crit racing so you're going to get higher like kermit's racing so you're going to get a higher proportion of faster people there potentially but like you know that the, it's not it's not for the chart like it's not like you're going to come from america and just be ruined from the on the what side necessarily if you're if you're competitive there because you know obviously america's a huge country as well so if you're competitive there you're going to be strong as well but it's more just you know all these parts that i've uh previously said but look at this course the course profile on the top right look how many look how technical that is in comparison um to like a four corner crit let's say or you know more similar races that the training road have a lot of footage watch training roads footage and um you'll see that like you know a lot of their the races they do um in northern california are just not really very like technical like some of them don't even have they have like two corners in a race you're know, like what how does that add up um so yeah it's obviously a big shock um when you know if you came from that straight to one of these races you'd be like wow big time um but anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy this video what are your comments have you raced in american belgium or american europe um or anywhere in the world like what are the different nuances where you race because i think you know i've raced in australia uk australia um thailand have i mentioned that i think i met australia twice but i'm like obviously it's all slightly different like australia and uk was pretty similar to be fair like i'd say almost identical the racing experience um in terms of just like what you expect from like a crit and stuff but um thailand was a bit weird because you race on a motorway so again zero technical ability is uh is needed um but anyway i hope to yeah hope to go race in europe at some point but i've just been a bit lazy and then i'm already gone but anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy and i uh, see you in the next one eh?